You know how Mexican restaurants have all that uh, music, that authentic Mexican music? Ha! It was the best music you ever heard in your life. I really got the feel. I was, oh, he was so nice. And that food, I'm kidding, I'm not kidding you, was the best. It was as good in a different way. It was better than La Fonda in Flagstaff. It really was. Look at this gorgeous day. I'm so disappointed that some of my best videos on this trip, like Grand Canyon and that meal, this music thing will kill it every time. YouTube, if you don't know, if, if AI picks up on popular music, the original artists, they don't want their music used for free. You gotta pay for that, or you gotta have permission for that. So, hey, there's the human being. And hey, that was good coffee, get the little um, coffee beans. I'm so coffeeed out though. Maybe I'll hit it up later. Anyway, I'm so sorry, everybody. It was, I mean, I did a very good job. It, I sat at a booth. It was beautiful in there. They had a nice little bar. It was uh, 9, 10 in the morning. I am I am so full. I will never forget that meal. Never. Look at this. Look at what I'm looking at here. Gorgeous. So... I, I tried to upload it and it wouldn't work. But let me tell you what else is good. Moving on. Uh, <clears throat> Tim from Apple Valley, my good buddy. He's coming back tomorrow. I'm so glad. I was going to blow out. I was maybe going to blow out. But you can't believe a damn thing I say. Why would I blow out? I'm in paradise. Look at this. Look at this. It's incredible, folks. It's incredible to be living here and to have that. How can you be depressed when you look at that every day? And look at these skies. Two days in a row it rained. And you, you just know that's very unusual because look at the terrain. There is no water here. But look how fast it dried up. There was a little bit of water on the street there. The dryness and no humidity, water dries up quickly here. Is now it's gorgeous. 63 degrees outside, quite quite cool, quite comfortable. This is California weather. I am absolutely in love with this part of the country. I don't know if I can find anything better, but I'm gonna keep looking. But let me tell you what's gonna go on. Tim from Apple Valley, he saw my um, Walmart video about needing a steak knife. He goes, don't buy any of that, I got, he's a, he likes to go to garage sales and stuff and he has all kinds of things and uh, it's kind of a hobby of his he buys and you know resells some things he's got so much flatware knives frying pans he's bringing me a big chain uh, to lock up the uh, camper with I've got a cable and everything already uh, Robert gave me a chain to use while he was here the guy with the jet boat but it was a that chain went all the way around the camper it was I oh, mean, that thing was 60 pounds. It was a lot of chain, probably 30 feet. But he's so nice. He's bringing me some stuff. And I told him I'll take him down to Orioles here and buy him a lunch. He bought me a buffet at the Riverside. I asked him if he likes Mexican food. He's kind of particular what he eats. Like, he doesn't eat the bacon. He won't have my breakfast. He'll just drink some coffee uh, when he comes over in the mornings. But... Uh, It'll be great to see Tim again after just a couple of days. I never thought I would, you know, I, I, who knows when you run into somebody again, right? You could die. Uh, you may never get this way again. We're 3,000 miles apart. So I'm very honored that he's coming by. He's going to bring me a couple things. And folks, I went through the comments. You guys are the best. Your support, it's one after the other with a few sprinkles, I mean very few sprinkles of these negative ones. You guys really um, reassure me that you're on board, you understand me, you get me, you're happy for me, I'm happy for you. We're one big happy family. And some people just can't be happy for others. But um, enough said about them and enough said about them forever. <laughs> and man, I warned them 
if they go into them comments and say something that they're opening a there's just they're stepping on a hornet's nest <laughs> so uh, a lot of you absolutely um you got the better sayings than i could ever come up with so anyway thank you very much for your wonderful comments i answered a few i read them all and it's just it's so encouraging it makes me continue to keep doing what i'm doing and knowing that i am uh bringing some entertainment to you so thank you very much everyone and now I'm going to um, go back and um, I'll put on some cowboy clothes and my boots. I might go buy a new pair of boots. I've been wanting to do that for a week. I didn't tell you guys, but everybody keeps saying that mine are um, work boots, and they, they are. They're Ariats, and I don't need another pair. It's, I want another pair, maybe a darker color, maybe black or a dark brown. Or some kind of leather I'm not sure but one thing for sure is gonna be they're gonna be the right kind of heel and the right kind of width I'm not gonna be walking around something's gonna kill my feet and these Ariats I have they couldn't be more comfortable the only thing about them and I forgot to buy it at Walmart is even though I'm a nine and a half they seem to be a little roomy inside I love the fact how I can step in and out of them but sometimes when I'm walking if I go down hill I can feel my foot sort of sliding more forward than it really should, leaving room behind my heel. And so I just put a little, uh, I'll just get a little uh, Dr. Scholl's pad and stick in there and that'll, that'll tighten me right up. So those are great boots. But I, I saw in Vegas yesterday, of course it was Easter, I would have stopped. It literally said on the sign on the building, cowboy boots western wear i mean it was just it just said it just like that that was the name of the place and i thought man too bad it's easter i'd, I'd go in there look at these these places here with the blue roof look at those this is bullhead city this is over on the you know the riverside people that's got more money and uh so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. It's called the Boot Barn, and it's right up here in uh, Laughlin, actually. <clears throat> yeah, you can only find good Western wear. Well, find it anywhere, I guess, boots, but I like to be able to put them on. You don't just find them in any shoe store in Florida. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> any cowboy boots. But uh, I'm gonna buy some more boots, maybe. I wouldn't mind finding a jean jacket. Then, of course, all these boots and jeans uh, will make me leave Florida because you cannot wear anything there. You can't even wear socks and shoes. Believe me, it's hot, humid. You, you need to be half naked. You got to have your feet exposed. You got to have your legs exposed. You can't wear anything more than a t-shirt. I mean, any button down or long sleeve or undershirt long pants. I know you got to wear long pants. It's okay if you work inside a business with an air conditioner, but to walk around outside, you'd be galled. You know what galled it is? <laughs> Look at this desert. I want to live here and get a desert toy. Something to play with. I'm so excited about life and choices that I have. It, it really is like being a kid in a candy store because I've got some choices now. I've got a home. I own it. It's on wheels. And there's plenty of places right here that take those kinds of homes for like four or $500 a month. Yes, it's triple digits in the summer. Okay, uh, I learn to deal with it or I go off somewhere else with the smaller one and knock around for a few months. That's really the ideal thing. I mean, you do have the Colorado River right there to go dip in. That's always nice and cool and refreshing. But I don't want a boat or anything. I'm sure I would find some OPBs, other people's boats. But I would probably just go off, find some place to hang out up north, become a camp host and Idaho or 
who knows? Who knows? All I know is I pray I'm, I'm here every day. I'm above ground and I'm healthy. If I have those two things, food in my belly, a roof over my head, and transportation, I am a rich man. Everything else is a bonus. I'm just driving around. I got nowhere to go. No time to be there. No time to get back. Except for that doctor's appointment. The eye is doing real, really well, by the way. And Ted said, I told him, I said, we had 70,000 almost or more uh, praying for you and wishing good luck for you. Hoping you do well. And he wanted me to let everybody know he really appreciates it. And he... He calls me, and I sent him a message this morning. And uh, he wants me to help him out with the wood deck. I'm going to be there a couple of weeks, so you guys that like the Boynton Beach videos, they're coming in a couple of weeks. Lots of them. Because videos come out every day, multiple times a day. doesn't matter where I'm at. And I appreciate those out there that say they like anything and everything I, I upload. I'm glad I can, I can bring you some entertainment. I'm glad you're my friend, and I haven't even met you. I get offers and emails every single day. Are you going to be passing this way, this state? We'd love to meet you. You can stay here. You can park your, there's campgrounds near here. There's this, there's that. We'd love to, you know, share a cup of coffee or a meal with you. We'd love to meet you every day, every day. You know how humbling and, and grateful I feel about that? I, it's just, I never had this many friends. I never had this kind of feedback. And I'm very, very happy about that. So yeah, I'm a little exuberant today. I can't control it. Check out the Colorado Bell. That's closed down. There's the Tropicana. And then way back there to the left of your screen, you can't see it, is... Uh, Harrah's. I did see Harrah's yesterday. I, I stopped videoing when I was going through Vegas at the end. There was there was about as much more when I stopped videoing as there was when I did video all that. But it was just more of the same. Buildings, casinos, and people. I won't forget that hailstorm, snowstorm, slush storm freezing rainstorm, whatever the heck it was, I won't be forgetting that on this trip. And I won't be forgetting the snow that I actually saw when I was in Flagstaff and up in Grand Canyon or in New Mexico at, um, what was that high altitude a place that I went? I saw all that snow, the first one, uh, above Alamogordo. It was called um, a cl Cloudcroft. Yeah. So that was, a, that was a pretty cool place. But I was trying to get out west. It was funny how that road, when I was traveling um, through Texas, through the oil fields and all that, that it took me to Cloudcroft first before I could go down the mountain to Alamogordo. I actually thought I was going to come to the uh, first one and then go up if I wanted. But that's not the way it works pretty nice class B right here these are such big sellers people are loving these that's a Winnebago got a big roof air antenna awning big windows it's not the very longest wheelbase model they have but it's hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> I mean Robert with that big bus he bought although it'd be old he only gave $28,000 and a judge owned it. And it was really nice. He said it pulled like crazy uh, on the way down from uh, where he lived in California. So we're going to look into going to that. Uh, maybe Tim wants to go with me. I don't know. To that, what is it called? Where the donkeys are and the old western town. It's real close by. Look at this, folks. 
We still got to get over to that dam and down there. You can see the dam, a little bit of it right there, the top of it, right here. And we still got to get over that covered bridge. You can see just a piece of it right there on the e-bike. And there's a beach that Tim keeps telling me to go video in front of Harrah's. And we're not sure if I'm gonna be allowed to go not being a checked guest, or if they will let me go and just make a video. We'll find out. So I've got other things I'm gonna be bringing. It's just, it's taking me a while to getting around to doing it. So there's the uh, Laughlin Casino area. And then up here, you can see that dam now, way back in the background. See it? And here's the uh, covered bridge. It goes over into some park or something, uh, someone told me, listen to this. Welcome to Nevada. See, she says it right. I've heard it enough times now that I say it right. Nevada. What a life, folks. What a life. I haven't spent anything. Some gas. Food. You got to eat. I always say the same thing. On traveling, when people talk about food. You got to eat. If, even if you don't leave the house, you have to eat. So as long as you can cook your own... I mean, I had breakfast out this morning, but you see I make plenty of bacon and eggs, but I had to have that Mexican food, man. I'm full, I'm so full. Gosh, it's so disappointing. And, and the guy was so nice. I told him, I even left the channel name on my check, wrote it down. I had all kind of copyright flags uh, come up after it got uploaded from YouTube. No can do. Can't share this has nothing to do with the restaurant and the food. It was all because of the music. What am I going to do? Hey, can you turn your stereo off <laughs> while I make this video? And, you know, I could probably remove the audio and upload it and see what YouTube says. But well, who wants to watch a silent movie? Now, Traveling Robert, he does a voiceover. So he just records. He doesn't talk until he gets home, he edits his videos, and then he <clears throat> just voices over as he watches the video back and just explains what you're seeing. And while I think that's kind of cool and, and an advantage in some ways, uh, it gets a little bit uh, not interesting to me than, you know, doing it right off the cuff. So that RV place you just saw I passed, that's a video I made with um, the, the nice guy in there, the salesman, uh, Garrett. And that happens to be where <clears throat> Mr. John, that was selling the, and is selling the um, teardrop that I was interested in buying, Uh, but they wanted to give him $7,000 for it. I mean, after he just gave him $26,000. He said, well, I don't want it now. You know, my wife died and I don't want it. All right, we'll give you seven grand. It never left their lot. He left it there for two months while he was in mourning. And then he said, I'll sell it. And he, they said, all right, we'll give you seven grand. They went up to nine. They just charged him $26,000. That's, that's what he told me. Hey, there's In-N-Out Burger. Crush it. 